Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alison, the online piano and the online violin tutor. So I just wanted to jump on here and just quickly talk to you about one of the violins that I've been reviewing recently. I was sent three violins from the Fiddler Man to review and one of them was called the Holstein Bench Plowden Violin and that's worth $4,600. Now I've compared that one to the, the other two and I've done individual reviews of, of all three of the violins that he has sent me but because this one was was near enough $5,000, not much change out of a $5,000 note. I wanted to just do a quick kind of, um, I wanted to play it side by side with my violin. So this is the Holstein Bench Plowden 1735, and this is a replica of, of an old violin, but obviously it's a new violin. And I wanted to play it against an actual antique violin, which is mine. I don't really know anything, nobody really knows anything about my violin. It used to be a Baroque violin and then it got made into a classical violin many, many years ago when they ripped out the necks of the Baroque violins and made them a little bit longer for the classical period. And this is why uh, classical violins differ from Baroque violins. It's all very interesting, but we don't know who the maker is of this violin. We just know it's around 1800 to 1850. It's a Mittenwald German violin, and that's pretty much about all, all we know about it. It's got a different back piece and a neck piece um, to the front of it, but I just wanted to compare this one, which is supposed to be a replica of a 1700 violin, to this one. I'm not going to be comparing the two or putting or pitting them against each other, so to speak, because uh, you know that's not really the purpose of this video. What I wanted to do was give you some context to this violin and show you the the sound of this compared to a real antique violin and. I think you'll find the results are very, very interesting. So I'm now gonna give you a side-by-side -side performance so you can hear what the differences are between these two.
After hearing those, I think you will agree with me that they are pretty much sitting in the same bracket. I, I would say that they are both the same kind of level of sound. It's very, very difficult to kind of articulate, but you can definitely tell that this one, you know, is, is, is keeping up with this one and this one is keeping up with that one. That they're both on a very level pegging, but they both just have a very different sound. So this one is darker, more mellow, more, more richer and more velvety, especially on the lower strings. But this one is definitely sweeter and brighter. And it just goes to show you, I think, that this one is... My point I was trying to make here is that this, this really is a fantastic violin and I think, they, I think the Fiddler Man has done really, really well in producing this one. And, you know, replicas can be made very well compared to the, the older violins. Mostly it's all about the wood. This is wood that's hundreds of years old. so. You know, you, you can't get that wood anymore because all the wood has gone. So now it's all about trying to make the newer violins sound similar to the older violins and the older make violins. And I think they've done very, very well in it. But you can tell that these are both very similar in terms of kind of, you know, what, what level, pro, um, semi-pro, that kind of thing. So they're both sitting at the same level. They're both just different in tone. So for me, it would be about which tone would I prefer more. But in terms of feel as well, this, my violin is a very, very light feeling violin. It's very soft and very light. And this one is a tad heavier, but it's also very soft and very light and even more so compared to the other two violins in the set. An interesting video that I thought you might want to hear the comparison to because I thought that one or two of you might ask me to compare the two together. So there we go. I hope you found this video and all the other videos interesting. Don't forget to check out the whole bunch of them underneath. There's going to be loads of stuff linked under there as well as links to the individual violins that you can purchase if you fancy treating yourself. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.